So, are we going to be staying in a hotel on Thanksgiving and eating a free Thanksgiving dinner that I won't be able to eat because the turkeys are going to be stuffed with breading that I'm allergic to? We have two and a half more days to get my house livable enough to move into or else we're going to have to rent an expensive hotel or Airbnb on Thanksgiving, which is going to be really expensive and they're all going to be booked. It's going to be a really, really big problem if we don't get my house at least marginally able to move into. So I am walking across Arcata from my secondary house to the U-Haul dealership to rent a U-Haul to get a free countertop with a sink built into it already that I can use as a temporary countertop and sink in my kitchen and some drywall and some tile backer board. It's 49 degrees in Arcata. I had to stop at a coffee house to get some coffee. Now I'm going back outside. I am now continuing to walk to the U-Haul rental place. It's about a block away. I'm almost there. Check out that really awesome old barn. Look at that. I didn't even know you could grow those in Arcata. I'm in the U-Haul. This is how they rented it to me. I am not kidding. It looks like somebody's drink exploded in here. Look at that. And look at that house over there. I'm pretty sure that this U-Haul that I just rented has a flat tire or something else horribly wrong with one of its tires because it's so bumpy, it's unbelievable. There's like no way there is not something wrong with it. But I told the guy that I was like about to be there, so I guess I'm gonna go get the countertop before um, trying to figure out what is wrong with this vehicle. But I will be figuring out what is wrong with this vehicle immediately after getting the countertop before driving on the highway. Check out the road that I am driving up in this U-Haul. Oh boy! I think a lot of people would be really scared right now. I am now driving out of this neighborhood, not only with a really, really nice tile countertop with the sink built into it, but also with other parts of this guy's house that he apparently just bought, you're not going to believe it, to renovate and rent out as an Airbnb rental. I didn't know that I was going to be taking down the walls and loading them into my U-Haul truck or carrying heavy cinder blocks up a hill that I could barely lift, that were like nearly breaking my hands to try to hold on to, that were rough and sharp and scraping me, I would have brought not only some work gloves, but also my boyfriend. Anyway, I am now in possession of enough wood siding to do part of a room, possibly room D. Whoa, what is happening here? Did you feel or see that bumpiness? Like there is something seriously wrong with this vehicle. I think something on the back tires is messed up. I looked at them and they were not flat, but this is the most wobbly U-Haul I have ever driven or ridden in. And something is definitely, definitely wrong with it. I am at my house and there is a problem. This countertop with the sink that I got that I actually just realized has a really heavy metal sink in it 
has fallen over in the back of the U-Haul, crushing the wall paneling that I got. Okay. I knew I heard a big bang while I was driving. I am now inside my house looking at the bathroom drywall. I saw pictures of this and I thought the drywall looked pretty good over here. But over here it did not look so nice. And I was a little bit annoyed. Luckily we're going to be putting a mirror there and some kind of shelf so most of that should be covered up. If we didn't have only two days left I would say that all of this drywall needs to be sanded down and repainted. But since we only have two days, I guess this is okay for now. My boyfriend did try to put some new texturing over the seam where the new drywall on the wall meets the old drywall on the ceiling to cover up the mudding. As you can see, it didn't really cover it up. You can still see that it was mudded along the seam. So I'm not quite satisfied with the drywall finishing in this bathroom. And if I had known it wasn't perfect, I would have told them not to paint it yet to fix it a little bit more first, but we only have two more days, so I guess I will settle for a patchy drywall job in the bathroom. After asking a neighbor to stop and help us, the countertop and sink is now in my yard. My house is getting closer to being at least temporarily livable, and that's a good thing. But I also have more good news. The vet called me. Almost $400 has been donated towards New Moon surgery. So there is now enough money to pay for the blood tests and the x-rays that she needs to have before she has the surgery. So I'm going to take her to the vet right now. I am now in my new Mercedes, which I call my Miracle Mercedes, about to take my Miracle Cat to the vet. New Moon's name actually originally was Miracle. Well, that's what the people were calling her, who gave her to me, at least. Hopefully New Moon will get a Miracle today. I need 200 more dollars to pay for her surgery and she now needs the surgery right away because her tumor is starting to bust open and bleed. So it's scheduled for tomorrow and I have until tomorrow to raise 200 more dollars or maybe like 280 actually. My father is in the U-Haul with New Moon. I hope he is coming over here with her right now. And there she is, now in the car. And as you can see, I have put down a towel, and then a bag, and then a shirt, in case she pees, to protect the seats. In case anyone is wondering why I stopped at my secondary house in Arcata, and got into this creaky old Mercedes with New Moon, instead of driving her all the way to the vet in the U-Haul, it's because I am being charged 88 cents a mile for every mile I drive that U-Haul and I didn't want to pay like a few more dollars just to take New Moon back and forth to the vet in the U-Haul. So I drove the U-Haul to my secondary house and switched to this car, which sounds really, really horrible. I thought they were going to have me pick her up again tonight and bring her back in in the morning, but it turns out they're checking her in for the surgery now, so I'm going to say goodbye to her in case she, like, doesn't survive. Hey, New Moon. In case you don't, like, survive this surgery, I just want to pet you. I love you, okay? Hopefully you survive this and live like 10 more years. Oh, I hope this isn't the last time I ever touch her. I hope she lives. 
It's 5.55. No, it's actually not. And it is not 7.46 either. It is, however, time for me to clean the counter. No, seriously, it is 4.59 p.m. That's what time it is right now. I am at my house after a terrifying drive in the U-Haul. You see, every time you make a sharp turn in this vehicle, it sounds like you're running over a curb or something. It thuds really hard, it makes a really loud banging sound, it basically sounds and feels like you're running over a curb. But my boyfriend was driving behind me in our car and confirmed my suspicion. I was not hitting curbs every time I turned a corner. There is just something wrong with this vehicle. So what I was trying to explain last night is that until we put the tile backer board here, which will bring this area up to the same level as this area, we can't have the oven right up against the wall. Ugh. But we could have the oven on the subfloor here. It doesn't have to be right up against the wall. Mm -hmm. And the sink and countertop I got today could go right there. We could at least have cold water going to it right now. Why can't we have hot? Because that hot water line needs to be replaced. This the white one? Yeah. Oh, God. No hot water? Water was dripping out of that until we disconnected the water heater. We can't have hot water anyway until we reconnect the water heater or get a new one. My boyfriend is about to attach this orange stuff to the walls. This orange stuff is a waterproof membrane that you put behind tile. Yeah, I'm breaking out the Dwal DWD215G. And that is to stir this stuff. Excuse me. Which is Carabond. You have to bond the orange stuff to the walls. I'm like. Eight scoops. Start out with that. Make sure it's on there good. It doesn't have a. a cut. That was left in my yard years ago by somebody who had used it to make bubble hash. And that is the only reason that I actually That's have out. that tool. <laughs> A tool which is more commonly used to make bubble hash than mix concrete in Humboldt County, California. Stop, stop, stop. Please don't splatter it onto that cage. To, I think I need to mix more. It just doesn't feel like it's in there. It's actually like a $60 dog kennel. Oh, that cage is what you're worried Yes. Move it. It was a little too thin, so he's adding more. And you can see the results of the disaster that happened the last time that this was tried when the drill set on fire and the bucket went flying. Closing concrete was still everywhere. It appears to be working now. Look at this. Earlier, when I was saying it wasn't 5.55, my boyfriend and my father were getting ready to leave to use the U-Haul while we had it to get this drywall. There is now enough drywall in this room to drywall this room and the room next to it and the part of the kitchen that is still missing drywall. At least there should be. I don't think anybody remembered the measurements when they were 
bordering the drywall, so there may be too little or too much. There's probably too little. But if there's too little, there's at least most of the drywall we need right here. And there is a cabinet. Adrian. I'm coming. That came with the countertop I got today. Now I have to go because they're calling my name. Wow. That looks professional. Thank you. I'm scraping out the bubbles. Right, right there is a place where I guess I did not get enough of the stuff in it, so I'm going to try to scrape something in there. Looks good. You're doing a good job. Oh man, I missed getting something on video. I just got back from the gas station. I went down there to get some iced teas for us to drink. And my boyfriend was like, check out what I just did. Then he went out the door. I was about to start recording, but I was like moments too late. Because when he closed the door, this catastrophically fell down from where it was taped up to the wall. But as you can see, in some places, it is not taped up to the wall. It is actually connected to the wall with a special mortar. And that's what he did that he wanted to show me. That would have been funny. I wish I had gotten that on video catastrophically falling down. When you close the door, the curdy backer stuff you had taped up catastrophically fell down. Oh, crap, all of it went. Oh, wow. That looks really good. Thank you. It's like 3 in the morning. I fell asleep, and while I was asleep, my boyfriend did this. Look at that. Doesn't it look professional? We are now going back to my secondary house where we have two more nights, or I guess one and a half more nights now since half the night is over, since it's like three in the morning. The light is on, please turn it off. Get on the floor because I'm freezing cold. Because it's freezing cold at my house and I feel like I'm like chilled to the bone and I can't get warm. We're gonna have to get some better electric heaters if we're gonna really be moving in there the day after tomorrow. Your dad was like, are you going to come over at 7 a.m. and do all the tiling? Should I leave the door unlocked? And I was like, I'm probably going to be asleep. <laughs> of course, I do have a $100 coupon from Hotels.com because I complained about one of the horrible hotels that we stayed at. I think if I called them and hassled them, they might give me another $100 coupon. We could possibly stay in a hotel on Thanksgiving yeah, because the house isn't ready for us to move in yet. Yeah, but there's the veterans Thanksgiving dinner, and my father's a veteran. We could go to that. I went there with Chuck one year. They cooked turkeys and ham also, and we took these big aluminum foil packages of ham back for our pets. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Where is it? I don't know. I think it's in Arcata. It used to be in McKinleyville. So, are we going to be staying in a hotel on Thanksgiving and eating a free Thanksgiving dinner that I won't be able to eat because the turkeys are going to be stuffed with breading that I'm allergic to? Ooh. Or are we going to be Moving into my house, putting the oven on the subfloor, and oh, I just thought of something. The gas company has to turn the gas on. Sometimes it takes them a few days to come out and do that. So even if we got somehow the tile and the toilet installed and the oven in there, my, my they might not be able to just come out and turn on the gas. We baked a turkey in the oven last year. It was an RV oven, remember? Oh, Daryl's, yeah. Daryl saved Thanksgiving. We cooked a turkey in Daryl's RV last year. I guess we could cook a turkey in the RV. Do you have propane? I guess we could get propane. I think I got a little 
little bit, but it's not enough to really make it taste like I have to return the U Haul. Can't run out of cocaine in a few hours. I just still have something. Huh. We should get a we couch or something it. before I return the U-Haul. What? Oh yeah, we could deep fry it. We did that too. Yeah. Some we years. We just gotta buy some peanut oil and then another. I think uh, we did it one year, there. maybe two years. Did we do that one year or two years? I don't two remember. Years ago. But did we do it once or twice? Once. Okay. Last year we I'm did asleep. The, we did the trailer part. I'm talking uh, in my sleep. Or RV park turkey baking. And then the year before that, we were deep frying. Redneck deep frying. <laughs> this year, we should do what they did on the Discovery Channel and chainsaw turkey carving. We should do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel, people. Today, I'm the one who got mortared. I have thin set mortar all over my jacket and my pants. I was wiping it where it was dripping into the bathtub, kind of leaning over my boyfriend at odd angles, leaning under him at odd angles, trying to do it like they do it on the Discovery Channel, no, trying to wipe it up before it hardened onto the bathtub. You don't like it hard. <laughs>